Holidays have come and gone. It's time to add it all up now. According to estimates, Americans spent over $15 billion on unwanted Christmas gifts this year. But before you throw any unwanted gifts out or bury it in a closet, a Niagara County charitable organization is hoping you will re-gift it to help others. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley explains. Right now, I'm trying to find another landlord. Two weeks before Christmas, a lease mix-up left Anzalee Chanty, her husband, and four children with no place to live. Desperate, the family turned to the community missions of Niagara Frontier for help. And if you didn't have this to fall back on, what do you think would have happened? I really don't know. The nonprofit organization provided the family with shelter, food, and Christmas gifts for the kids. I didn't wasn't able to get them no tree or nothing, but they was able to, even though it's not a big stuff, it's the thought that counts. Azalee and her husband continue to search for a long-term housing solution, a process made easier knowing Community Missions is helping. We're really um, the largest shelter in Niagara Falls. Uh, we're the only one that's taking women and families in particular. Every year, Community Missions provides shelter, meals, clothing, and a variety of services to several thousand people. Certainly there's always a gap there that we really need fundraising for. This year for the first time, Community Missions is hosting a re-gifting party. Admission is free for anyone donating an unwanted Christmas gift or gift card worth $25 or more. Those will then be used as part of a fundraising auction in February. Because everybody kind of gets stuck with uh, that one or two or maybe more than that kind of weird uh, Christmas presents that they just don't know what to do with. While all gifts will be accepted, it is hoped people will consider re-gifting essential items. The linen the towels, the pots, the pans, the dishes, all those kinds of things that you may not be thinking about. The re-gifting party will have food and music for gift donors, and families like Azalee's are hoping many re-gifters will contribute. I just feel like everybody should help, have a helping hand into the community because you never know when you're going to need the community. The re-gifting party starts at 4.30 Thursday here at the Chill 443 restaurant located in the lobby of the Wyndham Garden Hotel. On Main Street, Niagara Falls, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.